This is a HeadGum Podcast. This week on the program, well, April comes to an end with a chat about, well, I almost said one of the all-time greats, but absolutely not. It's Rampage 2018. I'm Andrew Jupin. Albino Steve Sadek. <laughs> Albino Eric Siska. <laughs> Quite Chris Cabin. <laughs> and we, Ape Movies. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to We Ape Movies. Thank you for tuning in. As always, that's right. Uh, end of April brings us, well, doing something a little bit different with the programming here. 2018's that's Rampage, right. directed by Brad Payton, who you may know. I don't know him. Just another rock stooge. Is that what I, what uh, he's yeah. more, or less, more or less a rock stooge because he directed this, Journey to the Mysterious Island. That's uh-huh. where, like... Brendan Fraser got booted from the franchise and Dwayne Johnson, you know, I see. insert actor here. Yeah. Mm. And then he also directed San, and- uh, yeah. San Andreas, but oh. he also directed his first feature, Dogs and Cats, colon, The Rise of Kitty Galore. Oh, wow. Wow. And there is some secret Aaron Eckhart movie called Incarnate, which is like oh, something, shit. something, a psychic is trying to communicate with a demon inside no, a person. No, no, and, no, no, oh, no, it thanks. is a real, it's real secret movie. Town, I, I, you just got to imagine uh, uh, Dwayne Johnson watching the cats and dogs sequel. <laughs> and you're like, I see talent here. I see, I see vision. I see a, a person who will listen to everything I say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, of course, this is the video game adaptation of Rampage, which you may remember from the arcade, or it was on the NES console. Or ask your grandparents <laughs> yes, about You know, it. I'll tell you what. After watching this movie, um, which I did not hate, it's stupid and violent. It has so, its moments. So yeah. there, there were some moments in mm. there for me. But I went, and I was, like, all fucking geared up. I was like, yes, let's play Rampage. Mm-hmm. And I flipped on the Switch. And first I went to the Switch store because I was like, maybe yes, a new, you know, redone version of sure. Rampage. And I'll, yeah, I'll pay $7 for that. Mm-hmm. Went through nothing. I was like, oh, all right, fine. Well, they just got old Rampage there on the NES console. Mm-hmm. Fired up that bad boy, the online store there, the uh-huh. uh, Nintendo Online. No rampage to be found. What wow. the fuck? So I don't know if it's one of those things like maybe you can find it ported over onto the fucking PlayStation console these days. But as far as Nintendo's concerned, they are not in the rampage business right and now. And the rampage game was sort of a Godzilla versus King Kong riff, wherein a human beings, by the way, uh-huh. were uh turn into big gorilla, big uh um, yes. right. big gorilla called George, big uh what reptile called Lizzie that's kind of a a lizard and there was a wolf called Ralph which I think might have only been in the arcade and like when they when you die in the game you die for real no when you die in the game you shrink down to a little human right. person I remember yes. that you beat the ground you're like yeah. oh no I'm a little guy now but what's also great about that game and I do remember playing it with the wolf as well so maybe some arcade action for me mm-hmm. eating them people out of them windies yes yep. that's the best mm-hmm. part that is the best part for of power people yes. you know stepping on a tank yeah. Oh, all that stuff is great. I, I got to say, I, I don't like, I mean, we'll talk about with all these uh, video game movies. You have to pour over certain things from the game into sure. the thing with yep. Last of Us. Of course, you port the whole fucking thing over. <laughs> just let's just right. do this with cameras. Well, it's copy, just so beautifully yeah. written. So of course. Have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and just don't change a shot. Don't do anything. Uh, and did you watch that whole season? Uh, my wife, I've seen a lot of it. I haven't seen the whole thing, but yeah. I've seen quite a lot of it. Um, I gave up after that Offerman episode, dude. I was like, I'm glad Offerman yeah. had a nice time here, but I just... Mm-hmm. I, I, it's I not very good at all. Uh, okay, people love it. With, 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 no, 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 no. Stop a million times. Listen, I don't it. want my fucking house burned down, okay? The Last of Us is the best TV show ever made, and gamers are the only Don't citizens that should be able to vote. Burn down <laughs> Eric's house. You can burn down my house. It's, it's a pretty stupid Please. show. Uh, Ralph, stupid. like the the thing that they're like, 
Nick, we're calling oh. him Ralph. Oh, dude. That like, is no, you're not. You're calling him Super Wolf X29. Weirdos no, on, they say weirdos on the internet have started calling him Ralph. Yeah, like, which is just such a, we have to say it because it's a video game, but like, Hey, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, you want another two grand? Sure. Say this. Yep. Well, weirdos on the internet are calling this guy Ralph for some reason. Also, this is a... <laughs> I say, I say, <laughs> dude, he's being called Ralph. Oh. Jeffrey Devereaux Morgan in this film. <laughs> Hello <laughs> there. Dude, this is, is a Kentucky <laughs> Fried FBI agent. Too much. It's a, it's a, he, I love it. I, I, he's actually the best part of this really? movie. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, sure. <laughs> Here's an odd thing, though. In <laughs> the world of this movie, mm. the Rampage game exists. Which is so weird. Yep. And I think it's a thing where it's like, well, I guess it couldn't have been inspired by it because Malin Ackerman has yes. no idea what could possibly <laughs> happen. But it could have well, it could have been a thing where it's like, I was inspired by this Rampage game to actually do the science that could make the Rampage <laughs> game possible. That's that's how cool. much of a dedicated fan Malin Ackerman's uh, character is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah. Uh, there's just they're putting uh, uh oh my god uh uh, uh, uh uh venus fly traps coming out of the sewer every time you jump <laughs> over them <laughs> i don't know why you would do this melon ackerman why why would you do this it'll make us rich somehow and, uh, but i mean it, it is it takes you right out of the movie when you go to melon ackerman's office i would you know what takes me right out of the movie? Malin Ackerman, because she's been terrible her whole career. <laughs> well, um, that's also uh, she is like. I don't know how they gave her an actual name. She has a character name in this. Sure. It is just pure evil. Yes. Like, wh yeah. What is the most base evil thing you can do or say in this moment? Just say that we're well, good. But well, she's a corporate stooge, which is evil. It, so it takes her, it takes you out of the movie because she's got the rampage console in her office. I miss this actually. Uh, yeah. And it's like if there was a scene in the Mortal Kombat movie where Raiden is in his apartment. Oh, wait, I'm playing this game, Mortal Kombat. Hey, that's a lot similar to what we do outside. Back, back, left, right, up, down, B, A, B. Oh, look, I did the fatality. Oh, I like this new style you've got here. Less clothing. I think that's good. What the fuck is sweeping distance? I, don't, I hate this shit. I'm trying to do this fatality for fucking hours. So I should be prepared for... For Cyrex, I, <laughs> there should be androids in my future. Yeah, it's just kind of stupid. Yeah, yeah uh, that uh, the game we, exists. We start with a B movie that I would love to see: Disaster in Space. Oh, absolutely. Oh, oh yeah. Why There's not? A, look, you buy your Rampage movie, you get a, a small Gravity for free. Yeah, you know? exactly. just a tiny Gravity to bring you home. <laughs> Little short film before the feature gets underway. That's what this is. I mean, we do we need another Disaster in Space movie? No, I don't know point. about that's that. A fair point. But yeah, I mean, this is. And certainly, I didn't expect to start here, no. so, it's, so it, 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 it glues you to the screen. It's uh, Marley Shelton is the last surviving astronaut in a space station of astronauts that got got. Well, just because I did a bitchy uh, side, side swipe on Malin Ackerman, I will praise Marley Shelton, who I've always enjoyed in everything. Oh, yeah. And I'll say just to defend Malin Ackerman for two seconds, the short-lived uh, sitcom that she was on, Trophy Wife, with Bradley Whitford, Fucking hysterical. People tell me she's good at comedy, and, and I and maybe I believe it. Um, but this, <laughs> no, nah, yeah. her and Watchmen certainly. Double. Nah. I, yeah. If I had to guess, the, uh, the director must have told her, "Do not be funny. Mm, Avoid yeah. it if possible." Mm. I, I look. We're making a a move a, a, a video game movie here. I guess. If so, I want more destruction. Honestly, just start <sighs> yeah. with them. Starting well, in the middle. It's we, a disaster we, of the whole city. Starting a disaster in space. There's a I mean, rat loose, Chris. There's oh, of a, course. A giant yeah. monster rat. I, I, is I that Jesse the rat from the original? <laughs> I mean, there, there, I think that there was, I was looking it up, there's a, a version. The rat is in one of the games. No, if what are you talking about? If it's a sequel or something, yeah. Wow. So that's Jesse, so fucking by the way. Stupid. Jesse the rampage oh, rat. Oh, my God. But this is a bit of a misnomer here in a way because. She's on she's on the phone with ground control or whatever, and she's like, oh, one of the samples got loose, you know, oh, scary or whatever. People are dead. There's a body floating by. There's a dude did, without an eyeball, yeah, which is pretty Yeah, and great. then Mission Control is just like, uh, it's just a rat. Meanwhile, you know you're doing these experiments yes. to make them as tall as a tower. <laughs> yeah. From, based on the video game in your office. <laughs> Yeah, and that because that's the thing too. It's very important, dude. It's not mission control. It's literally just Malin Ackerman yeah. and Jake Lacey, who I appreciate, unless I missed it, 
that the movie doesn't confirm whether or not they're a married couple or brother and sister. Right. Because that's fucking funny. Well, I, all rich people are exactly like that. If you yes. meet a rich couple, you're like, are they, wait, are they related? Right what is now. that? What is this? What is that? You know? A lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of those uh, uh, gene pools are quite shallow. Oh, yeah, dude. How they're, are they're, your mothers? <laughs> if they're, you know, if they're not fucking their kids I, will be or they're. I don't know if. Yeah. I don't know if I read it on Wikipedia or it is confirmed in a line in the movie. They are brother and sister, but oh. I don't. But I don't. I don't know where where I got that from. But because I, I see a person that looks like Malin Ackerman <laughs> and another person that looks like Jake Lacey, and yeah. the whole hour and forty seven minutes, my head was like, "Are these two specimens fucking?" <laughs> sure. Uh, and listen, dude, I was on high alert for it, and I didn't hear a little bro, big sis no, comment like but that. But bro- brothers and sisters fuck all the time. Yeah, um, yeah. And also, <laughs> by, the, by the way, there will be no fucking Eric, no fucking Andrew, what? no fucking oh, no, it's Chris. a Dwayne Johnson mm. movie. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We've got The Rock here. Put your dicks away. Yeah. Well, Gird your loins. The Rock <laughs> will have none of it. Is, this, is the se- this is probably the sexiest Rock movie. Yeah. There are sex jokes yes. that he participates in. He knows that the penis exists <laughs> in does. this film. That's, yes. I mean, that's a good point because after, I mean, the gravity thing, it's funny. It's also like the Ad Astra scene, but yes. like, of course, shitty. It's um, also like that movie Life that nobody watched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Life, dude. But, I saw that shit in the theater. Oh, no, I got one instead. Oh, <laughs> oh really? nice. Look at you. you. Look at you coming in hot. That's adorable. I mean, it is adorable. joking with me about wasting your own life. <laughs> no, I, mean, my, I wasted mine too. Don't worry. Yeah, everybody. I mean, the, the, the so this is just a setup like this is where the fucking pods come yes. from. She very quickly puts these three things. Things, uh, in a carrying case, gets into uh, the escape pod right as the rat is scratching up her fucking thing, and of course, you see the little moisture bo- uh, uh, things in the uh, in the pod, and you're like, oh, she, oh, uh, it's, uh, yeah. she had little shards of glass. Yeah. And the, you're like, oh, the windshield's falling apart. And so she gets just fucking demolished. Like you just see her die horribly. And I was like. Okay, Rampage, yeah. if you can keep up this kind of violence mm. to humans in this movie, yeah. we might be sitting on something here. I, I was do. almost there. I was big, but I'm like, okay, so she must be The Rock's wife? Or <laughs> yeah. is this person, no, yeah, right. oh, she doesn't matter at all. Huh? Well, oh, of, she I just mean, had you know, to die. Marley Shelton is not a nameless actor. No, you know no, I mean? So it's kind of a nice little dupe, like getting her you know, killed off in the open. Well, they do that twice, twice in baby. this movie. Manginello is also that. Where yes. It's like, oh, here comes Joe. Oh, no, he's dead. Yes. yes. That's which true. Is, which is totally which exquisite. It's even stranger because I, he has to be hatched from the same exact egg as Jeffrey Dean Morgan. They're, they're too similar. Oh, they are too far yokes. too similar. They are, yes. Yeah, yeah. But, but Joe Manganiello there. Manganiello. <laughs> Whatever his name is, Manganello. Sure. Okay, I'll or take you. I'll take your word for it. Um, that one though, he got sprayed with the sample from space. I see. He got all big and strong and weird. It's, it's kind of stunning that because you know this is the Rampage movie, yes. right? You'd mm-hmm. think like, let's have some fucking fun, oh, right? Oh yeah, that's like a big like, guy, oh, a, a, a giant human man. being sniff some yes. of that, such as the Rock. You know, well, it's weird that the Rock is in this movie at all because like. I mean, like, because this is a disaster movie, right? And you you do want an intrepid hero to be like, whoa, this is crazy. But usually when the disaster is so big, it especially with monster shit, the Rock can't fight these monsters. So why does it, him being the Rock matter at all? Like, That's true. Yeah. We don't have to go all the way back down to Godzilla Matthew Broderick, who is a, a human fly. <laughs> sure. Somewhere in the middle. Like, you yeah. know, like even Jack Quaid is in this first scene like that's kind of what you're well, shooting you know, for in like, defense i guess he's a big guy <laughs> who would get along with gorillas he's training the gorillas sure, at the zoo true. he's a he's by the way a fucking uh in this movie a a black ops operative doing wet work in the jungles murdering people sure. and then on the side getting his primatology degree that's I guess. how it works dude. Yep. gi dude. bill correspondence <laughs> classes yes. man. Yeah. honestly like if you put your mind to it yeah that's true you can be out in the bush illegally murdering <laughs> scores of whomever you uh-huh. know I've and got still this. be working on your degree well, at let's night. call that one a poacher as well mark that one down <laughs> as a poacher yeah that's Ooh, another yeah. p for poacher <laughs> Got this online class, and you wouldn't believe it. This just guy, we should put him in charge of a whole zoo, a zoo uh, yes. a thing. Like, he's just immediately, like, the, when we're introduced to him, he's like, 
you think you're in the jungle for a minute. It's uh-huh. him. Yeah. It's yep. the Quaid boy. Yeah. Um, which, and- which I do appreciate that they planted the little seeds first. You got a small role for the Quaid boy uh-huh. sure. before he took over all culture. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's true. Be- before the boys happened. Um, yes. And then uh, this has to be right before the boys yeah. started. He's so right? small in this movie. Like it, it makes sense that it's like a little. It's just a small little role. That no, I'm gone. saying it's got to be pretty close. Oh, yeah. to, yes. Like the boys yeah. started like what 2019, 2020. That yeah. sounds right. So it's kind of right around the corner. Um, and then the nerd guy who's in Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, he's Rugrat from Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, yeah. He's that also- guy getting arrested in Wolf of Wall Street. One of the funniest, like, baby pissing its pants shots of all time. He's great. Good at that. Uh, he's also great in Babylon, which is not a good movie, but his sequence Ooh. with the sound. Uh, he's yes. the guy that loses yeah, yeah, yeah. his shit in the sound best, scene. Best part of the movie. Yes. Probably best performance in the movie. And I think P- his, the actor's name is PJ Byrne because I looked him up last night because I'm like, this guy. If I ever killed anybody, he'd play me in a movie. Oh, uh-huh. sure. You know what I yeah. mean? Like that's yeah. what they'd make a movie about. Certainly, if I, if I went out on a, on a rampage of my own, yeah. right? This guy, I would get to hit PJ Byrne an Oscar. Yep. Oh yeah. So you'd this is your right dream. There. This is my this, dream. This is why you're gonna kill all those people. <laughs> Well, considering that it's always you always there's always someone older playing you. Yeah, I mean, I think you're probably close to Anthony Hopkins playing <laughs> mm-hmm. last one out, like podcaster Anthony Hopkins, who just I, happens to murder. I don't know, man. You can look at Rugrat. There's some crow's feet there. Yeah, he's, he's not he's no not spring a young man. Sure. I just can't picture. I can't take you know Anthony Hopkins in an X Men T-shirt. <laughs> I just don't know about. <laughs> I, just didn't, I didn't buy Anthony Hopkins as Steve Believable. Oh, no, I'm going to shoot up this comic book store because they're all out of Green Lantern comics. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Casper. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, they're out. And also, by the way, a sexy lady. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. She comes and goes. Does she, she sure not? Does. And there's a... So, you know, they have this, it's this opening scene where, like, we meet George, uh, the ape here, you know, he's friends with The Rock and whatnot, and it's like, all right, that's the training for the day. We're actually at the San Diego Wildlife Conservatory, because yes. we can't say the San Diego Zoo, uh, probably. Uh, maybe there's two different places in San Diego that cage animals, I don't know. But, uh, so, it's like, done with work for the day, and this lady is like, oh my God, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The way that you fucking controlled those animals today, it just got me so fucking horny. The word, the line is, I would love to learn about those submission yes. techniques you use. Yep, yeah. there it is. Maybe we could practice those later. Yep. And the Rock Johnson is, says, no, ma'am. He just no, goes, no, ma'am. He's no, like, S- oh, no, ma'am. No, S and M. I already got, uh, already got plans tonight. Sorry about that. And then Rugrat is like, dude. You have to fuck human women. <laughs> like, you can't or be people. hanging out with animals. Yes, yeah. But was there an age gap here? It seemed maybe there was. Yeah, she's probably like in her 20s. He's probably, old, he's probably old enough to be her father. Maybe yeah. that was part of it. I, I don't think that was going to be coming up in the whatever discussion they were having. Well, <laughs> I'm here now and we're discussing it. <laughs> well, I just think that, you know, the dude's got uh, other issues if he prefers hanging out with fucking apes over people. We should say. Uh, I, 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 I totally understand where he's coming from. <laughs> there in the middle of this class or whatever and like one of the monkeys pavo it gets really aggressive and jack quaid like curls up into a ball and it's like oh look at that little whip are you kidding me i'd love to see any of these tough guys in a gorilla pen when yeah. a gorilla like jumps i would shit my pants and piss everywhere i agree as would i you know why steve because you and i would be tourists in this situation sure. and this is why it's confusing as to what the hell these people are up to because I'm like, all right, unless this is day one, yeah. Jack Quaid, you don't have an excuse. They're a and- school group. They're, he's yeah. he's taking it's a group. The two, him and uh, uh, Rugrat, yeah. are part of the zoo. But I think, or the conservancy, or whatever. And they're the like interns. But, but, but yeah, they're like, this is your field study for the day. Well, I th- at very least, I think Quaid is going to be around for a while because he he's he's. Doing rounds at the zoo and finds that's the what I'm saying. So these are people clearly later. maybe also working on some sort of zoological yeah. dissertation yes, or yeah, something. Yeah. Unless this is his first day around these animals, mm-hmm. it's ridiculous that it's, everyone else is like in grad school and fine with it, and he's a huge coward. Like maybe this field is. I, I can handle this, by the way. All you need to sure. do, listen, folks. You giant ape coming at you. Uh-huh. Roll up a newspaper. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. You know you're gonna want to get that schnoz. Just smack <laughs> that in the schnoz. Grizzly, no. Bear, 
This also no. works for grizzly bears. Grizzly yes, bears yes. love this. That's the, true um, too. So while you know this, you know Pavo here, this uh. one, this one gorilla that they're dealing with and sort of learning about, like, oh, you know, poachers killed his family. He's new here. Blah blah blah. In comes this huge white gorilla, and yeah. you're like, what is going on? And I think the gorilla kind of like smacks Jack Quaid a little yes. bit. He does sort of like knock him a little bit. Um, but like this, and then it's like you, oh, you realize right here, this is the the level of chimp movie we're talking about or ape movie because it turns out like this ape was just joking with yeah. him and like he's, you know, he's signing with the rock and like, oh, you were fucking with that guy. That's ridiculous. You can't be playing jokes like that around here. George, blah, 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 George blah. has a twisted sense of humor. Yes. Kind of and it's he like a- shoulder checks Pavo right out of the fucking mm-hmm. no. Pavo goes flying into the woods. I'm not sure Pavo's alive. <laughs> he, he walks away with his fucking non-existent tail between his legs. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's when the rock is like, no, George, like he's part of our family now. People killed his family. He's really guilt tripping this yes, ape for yeah. the prank that he played. And it's like, hey, give me a fist bump. Uh oh, middle finger time. This ape's giving the finger now. And you're just like, man, god damn it. Man, given the fucking finger has not been funny in 40 years. Until now. I just. Oh, really? This one sent you? Oh, dude, to the moon. No. Oh, just something tells me you already there, dude. There was a smirk. I uh, sure. There was a little, little contained chuckle. <laughs> well, because because like you, that's that's as much as you can get away with, right? If you've got a teenager audience, a little bit. Oh, you can't teach the fucking ape to be like fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you have to give him a little dude, finger here. Imagine an ape walking around saying fuck you at everyone. <laughs> oh my fuck god! Yeah. <laughs> right here, fuck let's yeah. do a prank show. We train an ape. With cattle prods, whatever it takes. Sure, sure. anything it would take. Uh-huh. Just say fuck you. We'd put him in a little business suit. Oh, this would be. We'd let him loose on Wall Street, and he's saying fuck you to people, and they're like, well, I never. Before we're sent to prison, this would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This would be great. But then, the then PJ Bird would play me in the movie. Yes. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. But then the ape can break us out of prison. I see. It's an all purpose tool. I mean, the, the whole thing, like, so, because. Quaid is like flirting with the girl all before this, trying to uh, strike something yeah, up here sure. before it. And of course, this happens, and like she goes for the rock right after this. And he, it just, it's so, it, it's such a stupid thing. It's like, you know what makes him more masculine is that he wouldn't fuck the woman. Exactly. He wouldn't do it. That's what makes him more of a man and a hero. Yeah, that's dumb. So he's going to go home to wax the rest of his body hair. And meanwhile, uh, in, in the night, this is when the satellite breaks up and we get all these pods. One pod goes to George. And I will say, like, the CGI was actually pretty good on George at the very least. Sure. Like they they oh, yeah. do good character work. And, like, when he smells, they're like, Oh no! I had, I did have that moment. Of, oh no! Yeah, but you uh, are right, man. The Rock, no hair at all. There's like zero, zero, zero. There's what, nothing what going, do you think's on. going on. Do you think he's got a little bush downstairs at all? <laughs> nothing. I think no. I think it's no. smooth just sailing. Gone. I think it's. Just, I, uh, yeah. I like to slip slide away. <laughs> just slip and slide How and everywhere. How often do you think he like gives his entire body that Brazilian wax? Oh, it's got to be. It's got to be oh, at least tough. once weekly. or tw- at least weekly. Yeah, I think it's at, at the least. very least. Because mm-hmm. I mean. You know, I was about to say, like, well, only when he knows he's shooting a movie. But the problem with this guy, he's always shooting a his movie. whole life is on fucking social media also. So, like, yeah. you can't even just work out no. and have, like, a little, like, you know, arm fuzz going on because mm-hmm. you're in the fucking iron oasis or whatever he calls it. <laughs> and there's a fucking mm-hmm. camera on you at all times. So, yeah, I think you just got to be slick like a seal 24 by <laughs> 7. Just like bathing in access chemicals yeah, or something to you, get all that shit off. It's the fastest way to do it. You get into a little wading pool, <laughs> mm-hmm. he plugs his nose, you know, mm-hmm. like, here I go, this is for Hollywood. Mm-hmm. And he gets under... Of course, under- you gotta put the butt plug in. Well, so oh, yeah, you wanna you gotta cover all the fucking orifices, <laughs> yeah. dude. You don't want your yeah. organs oh, you're, melting. You have to put the little one in your ure- urethra hole yeah. just uh, to make oh, sure yeah. nothing gets those? in there. Steve, do they make those? Uh, I, I, unaware, Senator. Are you sure? I'll just get a little clothespin. A close <laughs> That's not yeah. doing the job. It's I'm gonna sure melt it's, away. I'm sure it's doing the job for somebody. Sure. <laughs> That's gotta be a little low. Oh, that feels like it might hurt, but his his dick is probably so muscular from lifting weights, like mm-hmm. it probably lifts weights itself. It but probably he, does. 
but he's so slick, dude. You cannot catch the rock in the pool. It's just like slick like that. No, no. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. You try oh. playing Marco Polo with that dude, <laughs> fucking forget it. He'll roll on you like an alligator. Speaking of which, oh sure. Uh, so one pod goes to George. You're like, oh no. One pod goes to a wolf in a wolf pack, and the third one goes into the swamp, but you don't even see what gets it. Oh. Which is so stupid because oh. I'm pretty sure. I mean. Lizzie was the second player in yes. the Nintendo yes. game. Yeah, yeah. Why this wolf gets all this realism? I never heard of this fucking wolf. Because <laughs> he fucking kills Joe Mango. Like yeah. the, the Joey Mango dies, and then Ralph. Sorry, Ralph. Uh, <laughs> People on the internet are calling him Ralph. It's Ralph. <laughs> uh, and like, and also. I'm sorry. The goddamn alligator looks horrible. It, it looks like a swamp came to life. It looks bad, and. We've already had so many Godzillers and stuff yeah. like yes. that, that. I think that's probably lizards. why they wait yeah. so yeah. long. Yeah. But he, and here's the thing, too. For whatever reason, like when you see the rat in 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 a hot second, it's got all the spiny shit on it. Like, well, what's going on with that rat? Yeah. When the wolf later gets spiny shit too, and gets like uh, bat wings for a hot second. The yeah. the lizard alligator has like fucking Vol- Dilophosaurus panels yeah. and like warthog tusks. Mm-hmm. Yes. But the the ape is just an ape. And I, that I don't get. Like, Because he's a good guy. Well, I, 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 exactly. let, me, let me tell you something right. here, Steve. That's uh, the good guy we're yes. supposed to like. Because oh. their DNA is so close to human. You I, see. Mm-hmm. I see. I <laughs> see. Question mark. I mean, I don't know, dude. You could modify him just a little bit. Like, why don't you put a tie on him? <laughs> no, that'd be nice. Well, the, 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 the Nintendo Corporation's going to have a couple questions about you that. You put a tie well, on you know, him, you train him to say, fuck you, and you bring him to Wall Street. <laughs> uh-huh. What a great idea. It would be funny. I think they've tried to do that in The Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> uh, yeah, there wasn't a moment where there was a fucking uh, uh, an orangutan in that office. We're calling him Ralph of Wall Street. <laughs> oh, the Ralph the of Wall Street. weirdos on the internet are calling him Ralph. <laughs> uh, they, uh, overnight, like, so, like, the next day The Rock shows up and PJ Burns like, dude, you you gotta see this. Now, here's something. I feel like PJ Burns exists in this scene, obviously, to tell DJ's character, yeah. you gotta see this, right? But in what fucking world is The Rock's character not the fucking first one there in the morning yes. and the yeah. last one to Ooh. leave at night, dude? Unless- he pulls in and I was like, you're late for work. I, I don't believe it with this character. Uh, you gotta have him fucking that girl then. Yeah, That's like- why he's late. That, that an Iron work. Man esque Playboy CAD. You, you know, know here's I mean? the thing, right? If you maybe he's listen, because The Rock is a happily married man. Maybe he's that got right? that weird fucking Kirk Cameron thing where it's yeah, like, I don't oh, I couldn't him. mother yeah, kind of a thing. That, that makes some sense. But I, I don't know if that's true because here's a real easy like way to make the character more of a you know realized character in this way, like. Maybe he puts up that whole thing, right? He tells PJ Byrne, like, no, 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 I prefer hanging out with Abe. See you tomorrow. And then he's late for work. And yes. then, uh oh, in the car, some pink fucking ladies' undies. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then it's like, uh oh. Yeah. What's he oh, up and to? then he's like, oh, sorry, I was late. Maybe like flicks him at fucking Rugrat or something, <laughs> I don't you know? know about <laughs> that. What's doing a totally different movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why not? <laughs> Down what? with Love, starring yeah. George and Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> I know nothing about The Rock's personal life. What's his wife's name? The Crystal? <laughs> mm-hmm. Lauren something. Oh, that's not as fun. Lauren the Crystal John. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just another rocky kind of yeah, thing, you know, like the geode. Uh, and he's got two children, so the man in real he? life fucks. Yeah. What what is he's they, got, he, Pebble and he's got uh, two Bam ki- Bam? Or he's got two kids with this lady, and then he's got an older daughter from a previous marriage that she's into wrestling herself. There oh, you go. how about that? Why yeah. not? Come on down. Free paycheck. I think <laughs> Bokeem... I think the Johnson's got something like Bokeem Woodbine in the big hit. He's just taking care of himself. Oh, And he I takes see. that very seriously. Oh. He's got just like a, a, an un, like a, a bar worth of different lubricants oh, that he sure. uses Food to take care of himself. Situation. He's working like, that bicep and his forearm to make sure he's got good grip. Yeah, like this is the lube I use if I'm going to be doing the stranger. Oh, no. oh. This is the heating lube if it's, you know, like a December jerk off and I'm out on the patio. Maybe you can mix them all a little bit, like a <laughs> mixologist, make a make a new one. Lube cocktail. Anyway, the film Rampage. I would love to oh, sure. No lube cock- cocktails in the film Rampage. Not, lube, not enough. Lube, lube my cocktail. Lube um, and tonic. The, the, he's, uh, George is actually in the grizzly bear pen 
and we go in there, and PJ Burns got a gun, rightfully so. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the grizzly has been murdered. Oh yeah, dude! Fucking snap this thing's neck like a fortune cookie. Which I kind of want to see that scene. Um, yeah. But yeah. then you reveal that the gorilla is now very, very large, and the rocks are. Wow, that's crazy! Put your gun down. We're not gonna. I would. I would assassinate this thing immediately. Absolutely. While but you still can. As we come to find, nothing that works. would not work. Literally, no, no, nothing no. harms them, which is stupid. question mark. Yeah, it's think, stupid. It oh stupid. yeah, because like oh yeah, there's this whole like regeneration clause in this movie, <laughs> and I was like, that wasn't in the game. Oh, it's it's a the, George Kent. Uh, He's no, a Superman. The, the movie has unlimited quarters. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I see. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, we should say at the beginning there is a scroll in this movie, which there absolutely should not be, which is about. CRISPR, C R I S P R, which I believe is an app where vegetables can fuck each other. That's true. <laughs> That's right. that you got it right on. It's with a K, except for this one's with a C. <laughs> so the CRISPR is, it was a, I mean, they say it the whole thing. It's because at some point down line, uh, I think it's uh, Naomi Harris yeah. mentions it. And she's, and if you would just let it be, they'll be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> CRISPR was a, yeah, some sort of genetic program run by Regenin, whatever this company calls themselves. Yes. And we're told in the scroll that in 1993, this technology was invented, yada, yada, gene therapy, yada, yada. And now. In 2016, dude, qualifies as a WMD. That's right. The CRISPR virus is a weapon of mass destruction. Boom. Starting the movie, we know this is at least... uh, Saddam Hussein level <laughs> event. I don't know. <laughs> Allegedly, yes, I know because yeah, he, exactly. he didn't even have any. No, that he, poor he, man. He didn't he even sh- have any CRISPR. He should have had a giant. If he had a giant ape, it would have been. A, I would have understood oh. things. <laughs> so as you've guessed, yes, CRISPR is now the new reason we're in Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> Poppy's making rampages over there, <laughs> <laughs> like the game I like. He made a deadly camel, Poppy. Yeah. Heard that uh, some geniuses over on the internet naming this wolf all sorts of things. (laughs) Each one of his humps is poison, Poppy. Yeah, Junior, that's uh, video game rules right here in the real world. We're talking WMD. He has fangs, Poppy. (laughs) Fangs. Looks like Junior's playing the uh, arcade import somewhere. (laughs) Didn't find no wolf in my Nintendo Entertainment System version. It His would, name's Dudley. Uh, <laughs> it would be better if two animals collided with the towers, right? Oh, no, dude. It wouldn't be as like, uh, You just start hucking, do a cat, put an ape in a catapult, throw it at a building. You know what? Sure. If, if two apes flew through the trade towers, <laughs> people in this country would go to the zoos and torture them and murder them all. Absolutely. What did you know about it, fucking ape? <laughs> yeah. I think essentially the same stuff would have happened afterwards. <laughs> I think essentially the same course of events. Uh-huh. Two monkeys just end up in the middle of a... It doesn't really kill anyone, yeah. but just <laughs> still. I'd they like, just splat against a building, essentially. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Still, uh, let's just wrap up the military. So that all goes down, and then it's like, oh, Jack Quaid's like, you got to come to the gorilla enclosure. And it's like, bum, bum, bum. Here's this device that fell out of the sky. We cut to Chicago. This is Malin Ackerman and Jake Lacey like, oh, hey, good news, everybody. The Rampage program Uh, is still on. And I was like, absolutely not. (laughs) Like, I know that I'm watching a movie called Rampage and it's called Rampage because it was based on the game called Rampage. Mm -hmm. And that's about as far as it needs to go. And they rampage in the movie. That's it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Did you know that Yuva Bull tried to sue Warner Brothers? Because like, I actually have yes. a, a trilogy called Rampage, <laughs> and if uh, you use it, this, it's going to actually uh, impede on my rights to oh, use oh, the word Rampage. Oh, hun- honey, those aren't real movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, ma'am, not a real movie. So <laughs> he made a movie called Rampage. He made a trilogy about called Rampage. A fella shooting up Wall Street. Yes. Now, had he been a monkey in a tie saying, <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> shooting up Wall Street, sure. it would have gone story, somewhere. Animal, yeah, Much did, you, did anyone see that one? I did not. I always there's, wanted to. Wait, I always I, wanted there's to. There's Assault on Wall Street. Is that this? Oh, am I confusing them? I'm confusing them. Because that's the movie with Eddie Postal. Furlong's like the security guard friend of his. Yes, that and sounds the guy, right. the guy in that movie. jailbreak, I think, is playing one. Of, I think one the guy, one of the guys from Prison jailbreak. Break. Prison Break. Yes, 2009, a man with thirst for revenge builds uh Full body armor from Kevlar and goes on a killing spree. 
That's oh, Rampage? That is Rampage. Okay. So it is Uvable's Rampage. I no confused it. I confused it with the Wall Street one. Yes. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there is a Uvable movie where like some dude, I think Prison Break guy, uh, gets fucked over. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Uh, there's two other movies. Okay. okay. Uh, Rampage, Capital Punishment. Ooh. Oh, so and the then, dude from the first movie is getting the death penalty? And oh my God, in what year is this? Two, 2016. Uh-huh. Uh, Rampage, President Down. And the poster Ooh. is the rampage guy on the White House. Oh. And the tagline is, which is what's really selling me, this bill will not be vetoed. Oh, God. It sounds to God. me like if you have that third movie on DVD, you automatically participated in Jan 6. Yeah, I don't know how that works out, but I think that it gave you a promo code to go to Jan 6. And it didn't, somehow it knew it was going to happen Here's five years Jan later. Jan 6 digital download. Uh-huh. It sounds. Not great. Uh, it look, I, sounds like I want to watch. <laughs> I, I think on your watch list. I can I see know, it right I, now. I'm smiling. Your big smile right now uh, on his face. So the yeah. whole thing is like, oh, actually, Project Rampage is still a go yes. because we found, you know, the the little canisters such as they were, uh, they were able to withstand reentry. Mm-hmm. So we just got to track down where they were. And we could find them or we could fucking start like the movie definitely starts with them being like, so all we have to do is go to these three places and find them. And then like without telling you, the movie changes its mind because then later they're like, so all we got to do is turn on this radio tower and all the animals are going to come to us. And I was like, but I thought you were. All right. Well, because uh, well, they try to go to. The, the, oh, actually, oh, that's true. Because so she's the, friends the, with. The, I think because it's they find out George is friendly yes. with them, so they can't do it. The wolf, they're like, oh shit, that wolf is in whatever the Pacific Northwest. Yes, or whatever that's the hell what it is. is. Uh, excuse me, what's here. his name? Ralph. The Thank weirdos you. on the internet, you <laughs> see, have been calling him Ralph. Thank you. She they, has this line. I forgot this. Though, oh, but uh, she yeah. does have. Uh, Remember that military <laughs> firm we acquired last year? And uh, she goes to Jake Lacey, you called them Killers Are Us? <laughs> yes. So they do actually, they do yes. try to go out and capture these things because this is, Joe Manganello is the head of this fake Blackwater kind of organization. Mm-hmm. We're rolling out to get this wolf. We're going hunting, boys. Yeah. And did you notice who, like, main hunter number two was? No. It's like, Manganello Avatar running guy. the whole thing. And then it's the asshole guy who's oh. basically Basically playing the same character in Avatar. That yeah. makes sense. It's the same kind of like, should I bring the 50 caliber for them blue people or what? I think he also makes Daredevil's suit. He does. Yes, yeah. that's yeah. that's correct. Yeah. Wow. Oh, he's that guy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great oh, cinematic legacy. <laughs> great chrome dome. One of the great chrome domes. Yeah, he's a big Vulcan uh, chrome dome. And it's like, all right, let's do it. Let's roll out. And like, you know, it's it's this scene's not great, honestly. Like the, you kind of want this scene to be better. Like the first rampage of like, Hit this wolf killing all these military guys. I kind of want a little more here. Yeah, I I I was satiated, man. Okay. I don't know. My bloodlust was maybe running low last night or something. <laughs> but sure. I mean, this wolf fucks these dudes up. You're true, seeing yeah. dudes literally ripped apart. Yeah, the dude fair. from Avatar gets absolutely destroyed. And Manganello, man, he fucking goes down like a true champion. It's which, pretty good. Yeah, he's a, the Drew Barrymore in this scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my boyfriend's big, plays football. He's going to beat the shit out of you. Oh, no, I'm not the star of the movie. I'm getting killed. <laughs> what a fucking surprise. <laughs> he really, it's a... It's kind of funny what they do because the wolf like somehow sneaks up behind him yes. and then he's a lot of like get my gun ready uh, yes. and then like the wolf just attacks. Yeah. Your gun was useless. Weird. And then it's like, oh, the wolf didn't work. Meanwhile, so now the rock, they have sedated, they have the, the monkey in, a, in an enclosure. The, the, well, George in an enclosure. Uh, you're skipping. So uh, Werner Herzog comes in <laughs> and he has the, the, the tapes from when uh, George killed the grizzly. Oh, yeah. And he's like, you have to watch this. It's awesome. <laughs> it's so fucking awesome. Oh, you should see it, what he did. Let me it, get that guy's wife. She's going to fucking love it. It just destroys this grizzly bear. It just tears him apart. Here is the revenge your husband's soul <laughs> so desperately needs. <laughs> Uh, we need more of these albino let's, gorillas. Let's go, George. Let's go, George. 
Oh, uh, at some point around here, Naomi Harris wakes up hungover. <laughs> <in Los laughs> Literally Angeles. wakes up in the movie like, "What? Oh shit! Oh, fuck! I missed the first twenty minutes of Rampage." She's shit. getting she's getting a phone call. It's like, "Hey, you're supposed to be in the movie. You're late." <laughs> oh fuck! I gotta get out of bed. Yeah. Uh, and she is a former Energine scientist mm -hmm. that knows all about. Uh, I don't know. I here's the thing. I I, I love Naomi Harris. And yeah, I think she's fantastic in most things. She's just okay here. It's just, if there's nothing about she's well, okay. she's, just, she's like I the mean, Rock's girl, this, almost girlfriend. It's the streak. I mean, like she. It, it's Moonlight. Moonlight yeah. happened, and all of a sudden they were like, "Hey, be in everything." Yeah, like, sure, I'll be in everything. Oh, right, she's the mom in yes. Moonlight. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And yeah. she's obviously in uh, all those James Bond movies, uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean. She uh, uh, and also excellent in Twenty Eight Days Later. By the way. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. yes. Made my favorite. Still after Moonlight, I might. Yeah, yeah. I, I, my my favorite Twenty Eight Days Later. FYI. Uh, but yes, yeah, she gets a phone call yeah. like you're late for whatever job you're supposed to be working at and she's seeing the news report like oh, a lot of this looks weirdly familiar i should probably go check it out so yeah. she goes to uh san diego and yeah. this is like they now because george is growing we have him in this huge cage and she comes in science science yada yada george breaks out immediately yeah it's like, oh you need <laughs> to feed this thing it's so hungry and it's going to be aggressive but it's too late Thing breaks out. It's 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 running around, and I have never in my life rooted for Homeland Security before. Oh sure. But when they fucking start to put this gorilla down, and the rocks like, no, and I'm like, yeah, do it. Yeah, <laughs> do totally. it, dudes. Get at it. Light this fucking monstrosity up. Yeah. Because yep, if you kill it now, you won't have to try and kill it when it's much bigger later. Yes. Not too shabby. That's true. That's uh, true. Yeah. They, they they but they just trank it, and then they arrest the rock and Naomi Harris for some I, they reason. They should like, now I know it takes time. To, I mean, like it, it, it regenerates or sure, whatever. It, yeah. it heals pretty fast. Can't you like dis dismember it or something? Yeah. Like I think that head off. It, I've been saying this all month. <laughs> Take the legs and arms off. Maybe the teeth. I mean, you don't know. I mean, like, I mean, we don't know what it is at this point. I'm willing to bet if you take that thing and try to put a saw on it, it just breaks. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. I, I don't really think anything's getting through the skin. Oh, these things are unbreakable then. Yes. <laughs> I think you get, uh, you know what? Get the biggest white barrel in history. Yes. And find it and then get right. a lot of lie yes. and get a just, I, 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 I'm not kidding you. Whole supplies of lot. Go to a warehouse <laughs> yes. where you have to buy this with a license. Then, then maybe you're working with this. I like it. I like it because we need to. Too. You know what, The Rock? I'm sorry. This you have someone has to tell him because I mean, like this is a man and his monkey story, much like the uh, last week's uh, every which way, any which way you can. It, it's it's you, you know like hey man, this is no longer your friend. Your friend is right. dead. Mm. What exists now is this. Also, like ooh, eager, aggressive, like. This thing's like yacked up on coke and ready. This is a cocaine bear scenario. <laughs> it really, it really is, dude. Yeah, like your buddy that you would watch, you know, eight movies with and drink a bunch of beers together. <laughs> yes. that dude's dead, DJ. Yeah. I'm sorry to tell you, this is a this is a grade A monster you have yes. on your hands. It's if no longer cocaine bear. You've got Adderall ape now. <laughs> no, no, it's doing its homework too fast. <laughs> if I <It's> cleaning everything. <laughs> We don't stop him now. This ape's going to clean every bathroom inside of that hospital, top to bottom. Oh, oh my man. God, the pantry is just immaculately organized. Wow. Every, <laughs> this is a really great system. Can that ape come into my house tonight? <laughs> This house hasn't looked better in years. Thanks, Adderall Ape. It it's looks incredible, <laughs> but there's all these banana peels everywhere. <laughs> See, we're reinventing monkey butlers here. Yes. Adderall <laughs> Ape, I like it. I think the monkey in. butlers were all drug addicts. <laughs> they they got to be on something. Oh, uh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. One of the coolest things in this whole like wolf sequence that happens, because like after they get arrested is the yeah. wolf sequence, which we already talked about, but one of the things that they keep true to the game function which i thought was kind of neat these animals are going after helicopters at all times yes yeah and you see i mean it's this wild ass it's like manganel is the only dude on the ground left alive and he's like you gotta fucking take this thing out with the chain gun yes. and like this wolf just 
eats this helicopter to the ground. It's so awesome. I feel like the wolf size changes quite a bit. Am I wrong? Like it seems like it's big and then small well, oh, again. But, and big but and- you, don't you understand? That's not us being lazy and stupid. <laughs> that stuff's happening and uh, they're growing. They're all growing. Uh, so we don't have to give a shit. Don't give a shit. We'll explain it in the it's script. It's all part of the show, folks. Because <laughs> I feel like the helicopter yeah, scene yeah. It seems a lot bigger than it does later when he's in Chicago go to the Cubs game. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. It could yeah, be. That's just me. But, you know, yeah. we got multiple helicopters down in this film, which is great. I mean, they're the easiest thing to destroy, right? Yeah, of all man's creations. <laughs> exactly. I mean, like, you sneeze at a helicopter that thinks, oh, fuck, we're yeah. going down. You start, no! You instantly hear that. What's that? That alarm? Like, dur, 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 yes. dur, dur, dur. Yep. Oh, my God. What a great song. That's, okay, the, welcome, that's uh, the we're going down alarm. I just want to make sure no one had any Taco Bell for lunch, because if you fart, we will go down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck what you do. You farted. Oh, God. <laughs> and then the helicopter, it's just so dangerous. You, can, you, you try to uh, jump out of there with a parachute. You're just <laughs> Sucked up into the blades. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to try the three bean salad. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Anyone see this week's succession? Oh, no, a spoiler. We're going down. (laughs) Um, So DJ is like, hey, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Uh, you're not going to put this ape on that plane there, yeah. are you? And he's like, you got that right, boy. <laughs> as soon as I finish this here peach cobbler, <laughs> me and you is going to take the ape. Oh, yeah, man, that just, peach cobbler with a side of scenery, dude. He's having fun, but it's like, oh, they're, they're being tough guys against each other. And poor Naomi Harris has to be like, I guess I'm the girl who has to be like, you two tough guys, stop being tough. No. But it's one of those things where it's like, even that kind of, because like they start like, you know, dick measuring and whatnot, and then they get her in there and she has to be like, it's just the lines you've heard a thousand times of like, Boys, can we stop waggling out there? And I was like, oh, now you have to do that. Yes. Even that's fucking played. Like, yes, oh. it's, just, it's very played. Well, that, yeah, you're going to give you know women more screen time. Why don't you say, oh, just a, what was it in Golden Eye? Bo- boys with toys. Yeah, you're just with boys with toys. There is one moment, though, where Jeffrey Dean Morgan definitely calls Dwayne Johnson brother. Yeah. And yes. then it's like DJ's response is like something, something or he's like, Whatever he's actually responding to, DJ is like, "Well, why don't you take the cuffs off and then we can find out, yeah. brother?" Yeah. And it's like, "Yeah, not so great, not mm. great, not great." <laughs> Jeffrey Dean Morgan, <laughs> Homeland Security guy, also. Dur, like, dur, dur, dur. Oh, you're a racist on the play. Oh, fuck the helicopter's going down again. Dur, 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 dur. <laughs> Called Dwayne Johnson, brother. Dur, 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 dur. <laughs> The helicopter going down a lot. I love that alarm. <laughs> I want that to be like my, you know, wake up call in the morning. <laughs> so you feel like you're you're in a helicopter plummeting to your death. You know what? I need to sit, rig my bed to like shake at the same time. <laughs> you yeah. know what it could be? If Opens that a happens, window instantly, a fan goes on. <laughs> if that happens, right? So every morning you sim- you simulate going down in some sort of aircraft. Yeah. The realization of like, oh, I just woke up and it's early. I'm in my bed. Like. Okay, so the worst thing to actually happen at the moment is you had to get out of bed and not <laughs> sure. like, oh, phew, I'm not actually dying. That's right. What a relief. It's reassuring. It helps you start the day on a little bit better footing. I and think that's a positive me. way to look at it, but I also, I, I kind of get the feeling your your lovely wife is going to be uh, waking up every morning with, <laughs> well, I'm going down! We're going down! But, but listen, yes, there'll be months of that, but eventually <laughs> we'll be comfortable. And then when I'm in an actual helicopter that starts going down, yes. I'll just have that... Re- Zen, you'll be, yeah, I'll be like, <laughs> time to go to bed, close my eyes. <laughs> You'll be nodding off. Yeah. So this is all in preparation for you obviously dying in a helicopter crash. Yes. If you go in okay. a helicopter, it's sure. way to go It's down. that or being shot at the grocery store. This <laughs> okay. is my okay. few choices. <laughs> okay. I, I'm an American, Chris. I know. Uh, go with the big one. I agree. So, yeah, they're on the plane, and they're like, oh, man, they, they realize now Jake Lacey and uh, Malin Ackerman are aware that the wolf is unstoppable, and now they have, that the government has this ape and Naomi Harris, and if they start putting two and two together right we're all going to jail let me put on this insane weird transmitter thing on top of the sears fucking tower 
or the Willis Tower now, I guess. Uh -huh. uh, no. And it's going to make all the animals go insane and come here and fight each other. And the government will just stop them before that ever happens. And we'll be safe. We could also pick up the remains because the, the, basically the, the blood will be on our doorstep. So we can just yes. scoop it up. We have the weaponized <laughs> DNA at our disposal. So we can just go out there with an ice cream scooper <laughs> and pick up some of Frankie's brains or mm -hmm. whatever the fuck these things are called. What's the wolf's name again? Uh, Ralph. Oh, been, Ralph. Weird the internet have been calling him Ralph. Oh, Ralph. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me. yeah. Me. and um, yeah. so the, let's just put, let's just start this beacon, and then the beacon, the wolf just go shoots off to toward head to Chicago, head to Chicago way. Mm -hmm. You do see because we're fucking keeping it secret, of course. By you, <laughs> this thing is moving in the water, and you're like, oh fuck, what's it gonna look like? And it's like when you eventually see it, and it looks nothing like the game, not like anything, yeah. in this movie looks like the game monsters anyway. But you're just like. Hey, should have fucking kept it in there a little longer. <laughs> or but just I'll, two things is fine. It, it two really things is, is plenty. But also, the, the third part of this is, I am sure, I haven't watched it in a while, because I do remember uh, when the wolf flies at the end of the movie, that's definitely in one of the trailers in the movie. Oh, and, and he flies. Yeah, uh, the, 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 the wolf was say flying. fly now. Yes, <laughs> that's definitely in the trailer. And I guarantee you that the fucking Lizzie the Lizard was revealed in at least... Trailer two, three, or the final trailer, Chris. For sure. Oh, oh, sure. So, like, it's I, what is the point of even trying to keep that shit secret in a movie? You know what I mean? Like, that's what I bought the what, ticket well, for. Here, I, well, here's I, the thing. I saw it six months ago at the Super Bowl, dude. What? Where the, is it? The movie is well made and locked before the trailer. Sure. So, like, when yeah. that shit happens, it's the trailer people's yes. fault. Like, the movie people have it. <laughs> they are well within their right to try to keep something as a surprise from the sure. audience. It's the assholes that market it later. Yeah. You know, and like, if you ever met a trailer cutter, some of these sadistic fucks. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. No, I just know one trailer I cutter. Say, yeah. this, I know one trailer cutter who's a fucking total loser. I'm sure a lot of them are, <laughs> or I'm sure a lot of them are totally great. But like this motherfucker that I'm thinking of, this motherfucker would definitely be like, well, you got to show that lizard in the trailer. Yeah. And then like the director can be like, well, hey, man, actually, we go to great lengths to, you know, sort of tease the character and the surprise reveal of the character design and everything. And yeah, but we put it in the trailer. <laughs> we go right in the trailer. Just buy the trailer. Look, ook, the, ook indeed. The other two roars aren't as good as that roar. OK, <laughs> so we're going to get that one out here. Well, we're going to need a reveal for trailers. Right now, trailer three is feeling a little light in the reveal department. Because that was the first trailer revealed a lot. Second trailer revealed even more. But trailer three is lacking in the reveal department. We're going to want to have something else in there. So there's nothing, to, no reason for you to actually see the movie. Because by the time we get to the final trailer, by the way, I mean, you want to make sure by the final trailer, everything has been revealed. Yeah. So that's what we have trailers one through three for to get all the reveals out of the way. Trailer four. Final trailer, no more reveals. By the way, we have plenty of surprises still late. We haven't even teased even a little bit that Joe Pantoliano and Tommy Lee Jones are trying to find Harrison Ford while this is happening. Well, that'd be great, right? You know? <laughs> da -da 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 yep. The fugitive song playing. As I want to check over Monkey House, Ape House, Gorilla House. I didn't grow 50 feet tall and kill my wife. That was the ape. I don't care. Ook, ook, ook. <laughs> a white ape. Like I believe that. A one armed man, a white ape, same difference. <laughs> I gotta say, so the ape wakes up midair. So, like, you know, there's some like reveals. This is when we find out that uh, the rock was a special ops soldier and also a primatologist. Of course. <laughs> and we don't know, we find out also that Jeffrey Dean Morgan works for some other government, shady government, and black and Naomi black Harris agent. was fired yeah, and so we, was in jail. And actually has no means to at this point to get to a cure, which is what she sells yeah. DJ on. Mm -hmm. Way back when they they first meet each other, but the ape wakes up midair, and there's this midair collision sequence. And I don't know if it's because we just went, did Uncharted a couple months ago. I am so sick of these sequences. I don't know what <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is. It's is it because it's because of the it's in it's in the mummy that that whatever yeah. the mummy movie the Tom, Cruise. Tom Cruise. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other. I mean, I just it's feel all like over the place. It I is. Mean, it's in Mission Impossible movies. It's in Dark Knight Rises. Yes, it's just sort of like it's, the oh my god, the plane is going down, but we're fighting each other right. while the plane is going down. It, it's a little tired at this point. And also, what's also weird about this scene, it's you know George starts to break out of his cage. Jeffrey Dean Morgan has the line, "Aim for its body." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, what? Wow, dude, you getting paid for that kind of advice? 
the remember to target the body. No, I, I'm sorry. The aura. Don't aim for its body at all. Just the whatever's emanating off of it. Shoot it in the chakra. You gotta get it in the chakra now. Oh wait, it's gonna go down. I mean, it's also the problem is that now all of them are CGI. To, like yes. the first couple of these were Mission Impossible, Fast yes. and Furious, which are very Even Dark Knight. Are, rises, yeah. are, are stunt heavy. Like yes. you're going to put that forefront. Yeah. Now it's like, it's a fucking ape and yes. it's the boxes coming out of the uncharted thing. And I don't give a shit. Yeah. I kind of was okay. With All right. This, there okay. it is. It's like the ape gets crushed by a big, like a uh, uh, forklift that goes flying. Yeah. That's kind of neat. Dudes are getting whipped out of this plane. Sure Again, are. it's like, I did not expect this movie to have a toll at all. Any kind of a body count. Yes. So like, it's like the little Andrew video game in its head in my head, just like ding, ding. There's yes. another one, ding. You were going over the high score, ding. I was shocked because you know, un- you know, like a Marvel movie or something wouldn't have this body. Cam. It's true for sure. And I, I will admit, I understand like everything. Like this is all ridiculous. Trying to find sure. hold on to anything is, but I was like. I, Imagine you're, you're you're piling this plane and a huge gorilla bank. Oh yeah, we're fine. Yeah, we got. We're steady as we go. Don't you fucking worry. We're not going down. Yeah, uh, just a little. Uh, if you look outside uh, your window there, you'll see the uh, the Great Lakes. Yeah, uh, and we're going to be to Chicago here. And there's the debris of our engines, which are gone. <laughs> yes. Yeah, a little, uh, little little kerfuffle there with a white ape that's uh, thirty feet tall. I wouldn't worry too much about it. We'll be, should be touching down in forty one minutes. You want to see its a uh, cage? It's uh, right on the right side, plummeting towards Earth. We've got a unruly passenger in the form of a giant white ape. Uh, we'll be uh, making an emergency landing here in Bakersfield. Looks like someone's uh, doing their damnedest to be memed by the end of the night. <laughs> it is kind of weird though because. Uh, it's not weird. It's funny, actually, because uh, the, the, the co-pilot comes out with a machine gun, like from the flight deck, like bah! Yeah. he's killed immediately. Yes. And then the pilot, we just the other guy, you just see slumped over at the controls. The dude's been shot in the back by one of these people. Fucking yeah. great. That's why he didn't, you're supposed to aim for the body, not the pilot. Yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Aim for the, the oh, I meant the ape's body, <laughs> not the pilot's body. Oh, should have clarified. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, just a little quick update here. I've been shot in the chest. Uh, yep. Ah, going down. But we My will, blood pressure and this plane. But we will be picking up some uh, time in uh, coming back here. So we will be getting you home a little earlier. And by that, I mean crashing into the ground. Oh, we'll be there earlier but it's going to be fiery and violent <laughs> i uh, by the way i was killed by agent foghorn leghorn <laughs> yeah and totally. he shot me right in the back while he was trying to save me quote unquote uh but so here's something that's interesting so for folks at home a little how the sausage is made here oh. we hate movies Uh-oh. we just recorded earlier uh our episode on any which way you can in where we talked about the the seedy motel owner uh, mm-hmm. yes. Looking uh, at, at Ma, yes, and having the Bo Derek fantasy, and they yes. put uh, what's Ruth Gordon's face on Bo Derek's body? Yes, yes. Sure, horrible. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Similar bit of special effecting happening here because we have a we're jumping out of a plane, and at some point we have like actual skydiving yes. footage. Yeah. yeah. And then we want to go in on a close up of DJ's character, and it's like the footage of the skydiver. Yeah. yeah. And we put a cartoon it's mask tough, on dude. this guy. Dude, it looks like. D- and Dwayne Johnson as Dr. Dope. Yeah. <laughs> this fit like polygonal, fucked up CGI it's face tough, that dude. they slap. Oh. And, oh, and then, someone should have said no. <laughs> and then he has to do some acting like, oh, no, George. Oh, George, you're dying. No. Oh, George is dead. Sorry, George. But George survives the helicopter crash because yes. they're looking around. It's the really girl like, you got a body? No, nope, no body. We got no body. No body. No body. Yes. Uh, so, it's, yeah, he survived. Uh-oh. I somehow didn't see him trampling off, even though I had literally a God's eye view of the situation. <laughs> I don't know, man. There was a little bit more to worry about at the moment, wouldn't you say? I, if a humongous ape is trumping, I'm like, oh, I have no idea where he went. Not even a direction for you. 
Well, I'm just, you're saying that this guy should have been fighting for his life, falling out of the sky, and also paying attention to where they <laughs> look. If you're, on, if you're an action hero of this size, I mean, yeah. look, you're George's friend. Are you ready to fucking help I mean, or not? This size, you're right, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It's a big guy. It stands to reason he's got bigger eyes than me or you. It's <laughs> that he should be able to, to at least don't, clock which don't direction. Big hairless eyes. <laughs> don't big ask me to eyes. be fair to this beautiful man. Uh, but also, this. Uh, the Rock goes out of his way to save Jeffrey Dean Morgan, even though they were antagonists before. Yes, and he puts him in a parachute, and, is, and basically they're, you know, that now they have a big grudging respect, which turns into a lifetime free pass of any crime you want to do. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, hey, I'll take it. That Jeffrey Dean Morgan waking up, falling, going, "Holy shit!" Yeah, pretty good. that's pretty funny. I forgot about that. Yeah, because he's like unconscious as the plane is crashing, and The Rock like. Yeah. Pulls him out when he doesn't have to. Yeah. Uh, at some point around here, the FBI invades uh, Energene's <sighs> office in Chicago. Yeah. And this is like Malin Ackerman, like playing all nice, you know, oh, whatever you need, officers. Uh-huh. And it's like, I don't know. All these agents have to do is take one look around this fucking room. You got fucking, you know, the villains from Rocky and Bullwinkle here. There's a, yeah. literally a rampage arcade tower. Jake Lacey is eating a Pop Tart. <laughs> Like, you got to go in here and be like, yeah, clearly you're crooked. All right, we're looking through your books here. It looks like you, you financed the Joker. Jesus <laughs> God. How evil are you people? But it's America, so they didn't get they didn't get arrested. Uh, no, no, it's just. Oh, it's and a, although, here's uh, a 200 percent tax refund. Thank you, job <laughs> creators. Oh, do you need a PPP loan? We can get you one of those. I know you're the biggest company in the fucking oh, yeah. world. Oh, don't worry. Well, you you can won't get have one. to pay him. Yeah, no, hey, yeah, oh, that's forgiven. <laughs> That's freaking. Do you believe pod, some podcasts took out those loans? <laughs> Not me. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they were forgiven. We yes, could have sir. gotten some. We could have, <sighs> we could have just raided the treasury. Wow. If only we were more keen to fucking abuse government assistance. Yeah. Don't tease me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's like, we're looking for such and such servers and we have this warrant and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, uh, every server they they report to them on, uh, except the one server that only the the two the bad server <laughs> the sibling oh, yeah. fuckers have access to. <laughs> yes, sir. And that's the one that is, of course, controlling. Yes, the big the thing. Yada, yada, this big yada. dog whistle in the sky they got going for twenty four <laughs> hours a day. Literally yeah. a big dog whistle in the sky. That's right. It's pretty dumb. <laughs> they they get uh, all of our it's heroes. I'm having fun with the movie, but that's pretty. Dumb. It's pretty. We're strange. at like a military command center at this point and Colonel Wrongheaded is here. He's like, everything I do will be absolutely wrong. You bet your ass I will be making wrong turn after bad decision this whole movie. <laughs> Under my leadership, we haven't won a conflict since before Vietnam. <laughs> now you got to understand, people who were in the military are the best. The actual military are the biggest group of fuck-ups in the entire fucking world. <laughs> but this primate expert and a disgraced scientist... <laughs> Uh-huh. And then uh, Hee Haw McGraw here. <laughs> sure. Whatever. That's that's the winning combination. This, the Colonel is really funny, though, because it's one of those, like, I am barely tolerating you, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. You're only here because you're an FBI agent or whatever, yeah. uh, Homeland Security other or whatever you are. Other government agency. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, but these other two people, I mean, I, neither of them has a badge of yes. any kind. And there's this scene. It's your classic the team is going to take care of the problem and we're going to watch them get murdered through night vision goggles. Uh, I guess they're in Joliet, Illinois. I don't know where we are exactly, but like (laughs) 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 getting close. Uh, The McAllisters live right up the fucking road. (laughs) And it's, we see that the ape and the wolf are working together on the rock. It's like, that doesn't make any sense. They're both predators. They should be tearing at each other. What's going on here? Something. There's a mystery of it. Colonel. It's mm-hmm. kind of funny because he does, he gives this like very sciencey response, and the colonel's just like, Who the hell are these yeah, people? <laughs> I don't want science in here. I'm going to do it wrong, goddammit. <laughs> Treat it like it's a video game. Explain it to me like it's a video game. Well, he's trying to play it like a video game where you just shoot at, you spray and pray, man. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Button mashing, they call that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to throw some Moabs at his. This is where he does the mother he of all. He mentions Moabs. Yeah. That's like the contingency if they have to. Like it's they like, don't want to, but if they have to, look, they will destroy right. Chicago. If we have to nuke Chicago, it's got to <laughs> happen. Look, we don't mean to do it. It's just look. 
this is what happens in all these movies. Don't you understand? It's, Eventually, we have to threaten a big bomb that's going to kill a couple. And that's people. the biggest bomb, like just under nuke. I understand. Yeah, right? it's, yeah. it's 2018. Well, the AV club sucks now. Anyway, do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it. <laughs> sure. Sure. Uh, oh, what? And pitchfork still there? Yeah, do it. Do it right now. <laughs> oh, do it as quick as possible. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the colonel does give the order to evacuate the city. Uh-huh. This is how, this is something that i think this exists now in these kinds of movies post bvs i think yeah. it was bvs yeah. really it was the backlash of, i mean i think our bvs episode was the creation of our gag about 75 9 11 yes. happening yes. and like just this rampant fucking destruction and yada 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 and like after that you get either like what happens in those avengers movies where like they finally get in trouble for destroying shit or you get these half-ass evacuate the whole city. Yeah, you know. So when we knock it to shit in forty-five minutes from now, nobody will be dead. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Everyone's just fine. It's just buildings. Yeah, it was just cans. <laughs> Which you know, it's yeah. funny because those people are like, see, they evacuated. It's just buildings. Are the same people a lot of the time anyway that are like, but. Spray paint in the windows of the Best Buy. <laughs> yeah, I always love when people cry about like graffiti or uh oh, someone broke a window or someone, God forbid, stole something or looted something. But and they're so worried about the structure of the building, this, yeah. that, and the other thing. And then they're the ones that will never actually go to the city. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. it's crying, it's crying. Crying. Oh, Eric, it's, it's not the fire. It's not the goods inside the Best Buy that you really want. It's the best buy. You want the whole fucking turn. I swear to God, the, the day after the George Floyd uh, protests and all that stuff, uh, this guy came up to me. We, it was, you know, in the middle of the pandemic, so it was over Zoom. It was a meeting. Some older guy at my job was like, Stephen, did you, did you hear? They broke in to the Best Buy up the street. I, like it. Uh-huh. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> they act like it's their house? They say, oh, the Best Buy is down. They broke in. They took. A bunch of chargers that are going to break in three months anyway. Stephen, they stole a Blu-ray of Forrest Gump. <laughs> my, my pre-ordered copy of Super Mario Odyssey for the Switch was in that Best Buy, and they burnt it to a crisp. My lord, all the dongles are gone. There's no more fucking dongles. Where am I supposed to get my car stereo now? They Where? They the surrounds out, and they... And they shot it in the head. <laughs> this, they should be killed, all these people. <laughs> these, they should just shoot them. I can't believe they hurt the Best Buy. <laughs> they if, hurt the Best If, if I wanted to choose buy. between three different refrigerators <laughs> for which one would be my refrigerator, <laughs> I would have gone there, but now I can't because the spray paint on it. I have to go up and I have to go three blocks over to the other Best Buy to look at refrigerators. <laughs> there. They're forcing me to a PC, Richard. Make them stop. <laughs> Uh, fucking so much for the tolerant left. What happened to the fucking Best Buy? <laughs> <laughs> um, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Uh, sure. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so like now we're an hour and five minutes in, I will say. And now it's time for the rampage. <laughs> yep, finally. <laughs> Woo! Let's get rampage. I did, yeah, I, did, I did clock it. I mean, I think that there was enough Honestly, like there was enough pre rampage before sure, the rampage. That's right. But now uh, the rampage begins in earnest. I know it's CGI glop and whatever. It's not light hitting. I thought. The destruction looked pretty good. I was, yeah, I, I was, I was surprised by it as well. Yeah, I, yeah. Was, I was, I think it's well choreographed. Even though, like, yes. you know, it's weird to say that because nothing's actually happening. But like, usually it's just like, I don't know, like those those Transformer movies, for example. Like the CGI is better probably in those films. However, because it's more expensive, but the same. It's shot in a way where I could understand what's happening. Like yes. the gorilla hit this, then the yes. wolf bit that, and yeah. then here comes the, the the lizard to do this. Like as opposed to like a big optimist prime da, 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 sure. nothing happening. Well, because like part you know, Transformers comparison to this is interesting. Yeah. I mean, one, because there is one of those movies that also ends up in Chicago at yes. some point. But like those movies, part of it is like, oh, you gotta get in there because of all the little buttons and gizmos yes. that are flipping and flooping when they transform and you want to get all up close with that. Yeah. Don't you care about how that looks versus this where like what's really smart about what they do for a lot of it. You just have these huge ass copter shots yes. and we're looking at things like the lizard thing yes. swimming up the Chicago river. And like when they get to the one building that you know, they're climbing up uh, the, the Willis tower or whatever it is there. Uh, 
you know, it does actually like a 360, a chopper flies around the building and you can see the different parts of the building that the monsters are climbing up yeah, and yes. like doing the rampage game thing. Right. Which is game cool. shots are good. I yeah. like the game shots quite yeah. a bit. I got to say, though, this alligator looks a little much too much like a Katamari Damase type thing. Oh, it's sure. just too much shit together. So yeah, much this rolled it. off in a, mm-hmm. this rolled over a bunch of office supplies in a playroom. <laughs> That's exactly that right. there's shit. too much fucking shit on me. Yeah, exactly. Kind of thing, exactly. Yeah. exactly. There's too much shit yeah. on the alligator. Yeah. I don't want to be around anymore. <laughs> yeah, totally, man. Another thing about the buildings that looks good is because they're actual buildings you know. Yeah. You know, right. it's sort of yeah. like how King Kong went up the Empire State Building versus I don't know. You go to one of these lesser cities across the country. You destroy <laughs> one of those. Wow! Suddenly you're like, what? What? Okay, they they destroyed the Best Buy. That's yeah. their number one thing. <laughs> oh well, here's, but here's but it's example. nice to see these actual buildings you know and love in Chicago. Here's a great example, right? When that T Rex runs rampant in the third act of the Lost World Jurassic Park. Yes. I don't know. Maybe it's stomping over some San Diego fucking landmarks, but. Nothing stuck out to me. Nothing looked like a landmark. No, I no. mean, feel free. I mean, I also it. don't think they were filming that in San Diego. <laughs> right, so exactly. Yeah. Oh, or- no, they fucking got Sherry's Shrimp Shack. <laughs> I mean, oh, no. <laughs> as bad it is to use this much scale CGI, there's another version where this movie could exist where we're just shooting on the street in Toronto. Yes. Yeah, totally. And yeah. it looks like nothing. It looks, yeah. it looks, it, it, I can't tell you whether or not, and I think this actually was filmed in Georgia because everything is, but like at sure. the very least, the, it's it, a model rendering yes, of Chicago. Exactly. Yeah. It, they get Chicago right for the most part in right. terms of actually making it look like Chicago. Um, so The Rock and Naomi Harris steal a helicopter because they're like, we're the only people who know how to do this. We're going to go inside energy and get the antidote and stop all this chaos. Um, there's a part where The Rock threatens a military policeman that he's going to choke him out and make him piss himself. Yes. Uh-huh. Which in, he front of, in front of the lady. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to piss in front of the lady. You don't want to do a thing like that. Now, <laughs> it's a oh, really oh, weird you don't, you, do, you don't have to piss. I'll make you. <laughs> exactly. I'll put piss in your bladder. <laughs> well, this is uh, this is where I I do I agree with Eric. I think Dwayne Johnson is better than average in this movie. Yeah. And some of it is with shit like this, where he does. So of course he starts beating the shit out of these two army guys, yeah. right? And he's choking the guy, and he's just like, "See, see, I took. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. See, oh, see." And I'm like, "That's." I was laughing at yeah, least. That, sure. That's funnier. Then he gets to be because it's not like I feel like so much of a shit like in that fucking terrible Jungle Cruise movie, right? That was yeah. the riverboat movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just a lot of like jokes because either he's dumb or other people think he's dumb. Yeah, and those are the jokes. And this is like as close as I feel he's gotten to like Willis esque quips yes. and yes. parts yes. here and there. Sure. They don't let him quip a lot in these movies. Mm. He says like. I'm going to say a big dumb thing that's going to make you believe in my bravery. And it's also kind of entertaining. Yeah. And like, that's the line. Right. Yeah. But it's never like, oh, that's fucking funny. Yeah. So he's like, Cap- he's always Captain Nice Guy. And it's nice to see him, you know, threaten a man's <laughs> bladder or whatever. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's different. Is I think like it, Willis could do it because for whatever he is in Die Hard, he has a family. He's not a family man. Yes. Whereas The Rock always has to be, with very few exceptions, a family man. Well, and here he's not a family well, man. Well, this is like one of the few exceptions. But like Skyscraper technically should be his diehard. And the whole problem is, yeah. is that it's his it's his family and he can't shut the fuck up about his family <laughs> and how sad he is that his family are kidnapped. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least Bruce Willis in that first movie like forgot about Holly every once in a while. Yeah, was just getting ready to kill them German he, terrorists. You get like one shot of her at one point, and you're like, okay, yeah, he cares about her. Yeah. You can stop talking about it and shoot someone. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but so Jeffrey Dean Morgan or Jeffrey Devereaux Morgan, uh-huh. Beauregard is like, where's my crawfish? <laughs> <He's> <laughs> Pardon me, I was late to the the the, the big rampage. I had a, co- a couple of beignet orders <laughs> I had to put through. God, I was just hanging out with my good friend Emeril Lagasse. <laughs> <laughs> he, wow, look yeah. at that monster knock down that skyscraper. Bam indeed, Emerald. Emerald, you got it. I got him on the phone right now. Emerald, you should see this. We can make so many alligator po boys out of this man. Oh Ooh. yeah. Yeah, I already said bam. I got it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> this could solve world hunger. Oh, dude, you eat true. up this gator, man. Oh my god. Gator's good eating. It is. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Um, I like that. But he gives them uh he, he lets them steal the helicopter. He's like, here's the satellite phone. Call me when you get there. We're working together. Uh, they get to the the facility. 
They're looking around, and immediately Malin Ackerman shoots the rock in the stomach. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, folks. That means nothing for the rest of the movie. No. Oh, totally not. Like, this is, yeah, it's it's him and, um, Naomi, Harris. and Naomi Harris, like, getting to the, oh, they get caught. That's what it yes. is. They're sneaking the antidote yes. out. And Malin Ackerman and Jake Lacey, like, come into the lab. And it's kind of an interesting, like, she doesn't even wait for any shit yes. talking to happen. She's just like, oh, you're stealing my antidote? Blam. Yes. You Which know, is kind of, it's, it's cool. It makes her, like, a little more edgy, Malin Ackerman's villain character. Um, the weirdest part, I, I would be trivia, was going crazy about this, because we'll talk about Malin Ackerman's death in a minute, but everyone's like, oh, you knew what was going to happen because she's wearing the red dress. And I'm like, what, what? what does that? Apparently the women in red dresses get eaten in the game, but I'm not oh. a fucking psychopath. Yeah. Right. So when a, when a woman wears a red dress, even in the Rampage movie, I'm not making that connection. <laughs> oh, I was waiting boy. for my fucking pepperoni pizza at Papa Gino's <laughs> playing this game. I wasn't being like, oh, what's, what's the girl in the red dress doing in there? Huh? What's she doing? Because I think with some of, like, you can eat most of the people in the yes, game. Yes, you can eat guys, yeah. gals. But some people, along with some things, like if you try to eat a toilet or a bathtub, they do the thing where, like, you put it in your mouth, it chews it, and then you spit. Uh -huh. I think some of the people can get spit out. Oh, oh really? Too. Like, yes. if they have, if it's like a dude with a gun or something, maybe. They should, you know what they should do is Ralph should eat one of those people and snowball it into George's. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. there we go. So, wait, totally. so maybe this, maybe I'm, I'm screwing up here. Maybe Devereaux, maybe Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Is there a character in the video game that says, like, suck a tash or something? <laughs> Bob, and, pops up when some destruction happens. Suck a tash. Just Man, something. yeah, like it's the toasty yeah, guy, but yeah, he yeah. suck a tash. <laughs> That'd George, be great. Well, that must be him. Oh, oh, it's just like Ralph. <laughs> George eats Claire Wyden, who is wearing a red dress. Oh, in the games, oh, you can God, eat women yes. wearing oh, red dresses for points in health. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. Wear oh, my the God. red dress. Oh, oh my God. I love eating women in red dresses. <laughs> oh my god, I'm 43 years old. <laughs> oh fuck yeah, red dress. Oh fuck yeah. Oh, I'm no, fucking no. 15 years away from retiring. From my job. <laughs> oh, I'm not talking about the TV on the radio. So I'm talking about this video game that nobody cares about. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if you can't get it on the classics library or a remodified version, yes. clearly nobody cares. No. Nobody a shit. I don't know. There's I just plenty wish of I video games. It. I a, wish I could have played it. It's a fun game, but uh, yeah, I, I did not pick up on the nuances that oh, this. Oh, the red dress. Is, uh, oh my god, the red dress. The red red dress. Yes. yes By yes, the way, yes. the antidote. They're like looking in a bunch of freezers and whatnot, and uh, Naomi Harris is like, oh. It's going to say RPG on it. Oh, yeah. Like the case is going to say Ooh. RPG. And I was like, is everyone still with us <laughs> at the end of the Rampage movie? Uh -huh. And then uh -huh. what happens? They uh, We uh, got to get into the helicopter and it's got to crash. Right, 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 right. But it's can't we can't turn it on. Like we're we're going to glide the helicopter down. It has, so, yeah, we're on, we're on the roof of the building. Yes. Uh, the these, rock is just like, oh, man, that, that bullet really didn't bother me. He's like, oh, it didn't hit any major organs. I'm know, cool. Every, super hero, every hero now has to be half like field doctor and just yes. like, oh, yeah, it went right through. Oh, yeah, I just put some uh, peroxide on it. will be fine. <laughs> the brother dies first, though, right? No, they no, kind of died the same. Yeah, she dies first, actually. Really? So she, okay. they're, they're, they're up in the, the, the helicopter. They're about to, they're like, oh, my God, we have one antidote left. We could give it to George. The George could fight the other monsters. Because How it are we won't, do uh, it's not going to shrink them. Yes, it just makes them normal. The rage mental. part goes away. Yeah. And... Uh, this is when Claire comes up. Mel and Ackerman's got a gun like, not so fast. You're coming with me, and we're all going to get away, and you're going to have to re-engineer the rampage syndrome. Totally. Uh, I first, let I me put my red dress on. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, she's God. fucking wearing she's it. She's fucking doing it. Oh, my God. Look at her. I could eat her. <laughs> um, I did not see this coming. Uh, it's great. I it, thought it was awesome. Yeah. It was. Well, yeah, because you didn't know about the red dress, of course. I didn't know about the red dress. So the antidote goes into her purse, <laughs> and they throw her into his <laughs> mouth, basically. And he, he just gobbles her up. It's pretty fantastic. And, and she's got a good, like, oh, shit. Yeah. You know. And then the rock digs out her skull out of the <laughs> droppings and uses it as an ashtray. <laughs> totally. Well, he's got to, like, boil it a little, little bit like Predator. You make sure oh, there's definitely. nothing left Get on it. Get all the fucking know? shit stains out. <laughs> That's a big pile of shit. 
shit right there. <laughs> could you, uh, hey, Rock, if you're, if you're digging in there, can you get that red dress? I, think, I don't think that monkey can digest the red dress. Yeah, I know it's covered in monkey shit. <laughs> I know everybody thinks Malin Ackerman's death in this is a little intense. I am just <laughs> echoing the death of the greatest villain of all time, that lady assistant from Jurassic World. <laughs> 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 that was a good one too. She really oh, got it. Could have yeah. used a red dress. But though. meanwhile, <laughs> Jake Lacey is leaving from the lobby of yes, the building, and he's like, "Oh boy, you ran down all them stairs pretty fast." <laughs> it's me, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it is this great like he's, Lacey's like running out with a with a briefcase in his mm-hmm. hand or whatever, and he's like, "Now say I say." <laughs> Wouldn't you have yourself a big old laptop in there with a bunch of yummy information for me to take? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, all right, I'll make you a little deal. You give me the laptop and you can just run away. How's that sound? Yeah. Mighty good. Excellent. (laughs) And he just runs out like, thanks, buddy, and gets smooshed. By a part of this building falling down, and so good. To this movie's credit, we have blood splatter back oh, yeah. on the door window. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh yes, I was very and, fond of that. And like, yeah, it's 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 a really good. Both of their deaths are good. Usually, you're expecting only one to be good, or you know what I mean. Yep. Somebody gets away. They're both good deaths, and this is where you'd expect the movie to end. Yeah, the villains it, 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 have been bet shit. Yeah. The villains have been bested. Yes, you would yeah. think this would be the end. No. No. This is what yeah, this is where the movie starts to lose you because it does. the yeah. building topples over. And I mean like uh and they do keep showing that there are people because the evacuation could have obviously wasn't gonna be successful. It was like three minutes. Yeah. Uh, and it's fucking Chicago. <laughs> yeah. So there are people and like meanwhile, Jeffrey Dean Morgan's like, You can't drop that bomb down. There's a lot of people down here. Uh. <laughs> And do you know who's down there? The bears down there. The best sandwiches in the... <laughs> oh, Portillo's allow you here. No one's going to bomb Portillo's on my watch, here. Yeah. And what happens here? The, the Rock and uh, Naomi Harris, they get into the... Uh, the helicopter. And they kind of just crash it into the ground. Yeah. He basically and then they says, walk out afterwards and say, I can't believe we survived yeah, that. Yeah, sure. It's something Me rid- neither. ridiculous about, like, the back... Like, the helicopter has no, like tail on it yeah and he's he's got some goof tacular line where he's like i'm gonna start the top blade yeah so that'll keep us like kind of up in the air and we're just gonna surf the rubble to the bottom Steve, if you could <laughs> yeah dude absolutely both in the soundscape <laughs> and just for screenplay logic alerts. Yeah. Yeah. it's going down it don't make no sense at all <laughs> I mean, like it's like you're you're telling me like I'm watching this movie and like you're watching my little my little level going here. Uh-huh. It's like flat all the way through. Mm-hmm. Like, yep. And now that wolf bit the helicopter. Oh, Excellent. No. Okay. Yeah. And uh, oh yeah, we're uh, oh Malin Ackerman eaten by that ape. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. But you know, I'll buy it. Whatever. Uh, big radio tower that makes these monsters come to them. Absolutely fine. Mm-hmm. But uh, oh, what's that? You're gonna surf a helicopter down a pile of debris? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Boy, that's. <laughs> About as dumb as it gets. At that point, you should just get the little guy, the little Mario guy in the cloud, to go down, pick him <laughs> up, and drop him back down. <laughs> oh, Locket Two is gonna do it, man. Because <laughs> yeah, totally. his Mario Kart is gotcha. not on. The, yep, <laughs> it's on the wrong part of the course. Uh, but so, like now, George, he he gives the Rock is the George sound language. This is the problem, I think, too, because it's the rock. Again, if it was Matthew Broderick's not the right person. I'm just, pick somebody. Yeah, I don't, usually is always the wrong person. <laughs> Wyatt Russell. Yeah, Wyatt Russell or go. something, you know, just a regular like action hero, but it, that's not a real action hero that's just like there to be the doctor. And a guy. Save him. A yeah. guy. Not a but, muscle-bound freak. Because yeah. then it's like The Rock has to get involved in the action. He gets a big gun and another big gun. And it's like, he's not, doesn't matter. It's about the monsters fighting each other. Exactly. Yes, and yes. that's where this movie, I mean, exactly what you're articulating. Yeah. Because he's in it, the movie can't do that. So instead you get this, all right, George, let's go. I've got... A grenade launcher. You're mm-hmm. just like, what the fuck? And they fight this, the alligator thing. Yes. And then... Uh, the wolf gets dispatched pretty quickly. They trick it into biting the wolf's head off. Yeah, yeah. which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that thing getting its head bit off was pretty great. And I kind of like looked away for a second and came back and I was like, wait a second. That thing get its head bit off? <laughs> Rewind. Oh, yes, it did. Rewind again. <laughs> Within two minutes of the, oh, they fly now. 
Yeah. They fly now. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's dispatched like right after yeah. that happens. But now it's yeah. like the invincible alligator guy. And this is when the movie gets really boring because it is so invincible and nothing works. And that happens like six times in nine to 12 minutes. And, and yeah. you know what? They none No part of this alligator starts flashing to tell you which part to hit. <laughs> exactly. I really don't That's appreciate true. it. Yep. I need to know where the arrows go. But, but this was a video game adaptation. Video though. game rules, dude. Always attack the eyes. If you they, can, yeah. uh-huh. always attack. Also, the real life too. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, the sure. best part to yep. to get someone. You break someone's eye out, mm-hmm. they're done for the day. <laughs> oh, usually, totally. The, the rock goes inside of an aircraft uh, uh, or a, a fucking you know whatever uh, an air bomber, and is like shooting the thing. Nothing happens there. He throws a bunch of bombs in its ear. Nothing happens. Oh, oh well, that's a great. Uh, he chucks like. He's got this grenade launcher and he shoots the grenades into it's got like gills at this yes. point, like yeah. fish gills, and it gets it right in there. And I was like, oh, that's actually kind of that's like that's a total video game yes. thing. Like when its gills are open, that's when you put the grenades in. Sure. And I thought because this is a Dwayne Johnson movie, I was like, this is what's gonna happen. It, yeah. Its fucking head is gonna blow off yeah. and he's gonna kill it. And it, he does it. It actually survives that stunningly. It survives. There's just another perfectly placed helicopter. And he's like, oh, good. This hasn't been decimated. That doesn't work. Uh, But then yet here comes George with the pipe. Yeah. Through this thing's fucking eyeball. Right. When all hope is almost lost. And oh, right. The rock's about to eat shit. The rock's about to eat shit. And Colonel Wronghead is going to drop the Moab on him no matter what. But then he sees that the gorilla beats the thing and is now being nice as a Son of a bitch. Yep. <laughs> oh, I could be fired for this. No Moab, uh, please. And The Rock has some line about George, because George is now thought to be dead. Yes. And it's he's just like, he saved he saved my life. And, and she's like, he saved a lot of people's lives. He absolutely yeah. did not. Nice. He <laughs> killed so many people. Sure. He yeah. killed so yeah. many people. But. Like Dude, innocent like, people, like school kids. He's yeah. stepping on them. Yeah. Yeah. People people do not have their, oh boy, everyone's going to be crying tonight because their daddy ain't coming home from work because George <laughs> fucking farted on him. But it doesn't matter, Steve, <laughs> because immediately after Naomi Harris said that to DJ, all DJ does is look around and he sees a little white oh, girl get out of yeah. running with the arms of little white mother and he yeah. goes, he did. <laughs> he did, absolutely. <laughs> Objection. <laughs> That I I, I want to hear I want to hear the the general be like, it's time you know this proves one thing for all, uh, we got to stop listening to military men like me and start <laughs> listening to military men like The Rock. That's right. That's right. Uh, and then, man, this mo- this last part the I was like, part. you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> what? This ape, well, uh, George has di- died for our sins here. He's got like a spear <laughs> through him, but he doesn't even. <laughs> that's actually a good point. But he doesn't even have the courtesy to wait fucking three days, dude. <laughs> so it means anything. Yeah, he waits fucking three minutes, and then it's like, oh, George is dead, and the Rock's feeling fucking sad about it. And yeah. then it's like, oh, what's that? Did he just move? Did he? Did he? George, is that your pulse? Is that your? Giving the fucking finger. Yeah. Oh, the apes oh, giving the fucking finger. George, you twisted sense of humor. <laughs> this is, I mean, we should play the Every Which Way But Loose song here because that's kind of, it's, it's a Clyde <laughs> move. Yes. It is a Clyde move, dude. All he needs is to open a fucking room temperature Coors Banquet beer. And then the best part of the movie happens when he sees the two of them there together and he's asking The Rock if they're friends with each other. Yeah. Family. Said, yeah, we are. And then the ape starts doing the dick in a hole thing. Yeah, the old with finger in finger. the hole. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 full uh, 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 up up a star for that alone. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And meanwhile, the, 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 the Rock is like, dirt, 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 dirt. No, we don't, we don't do that. Uh, George, we never do that. We never, ever do that. Wait, did we- you teach your ape that, you sick fuck? <laughs> George, what did I say? We take care of ourselves. We take care of ourselves. No sex. <laughs> we cannot be giving our essence to other people, George. George, George just starts jerking off in the middle of Chicago now. <laughs> Absolutely. Let him do it. Let let him do it. He's taking care of himself. No, no, George, get it in the river. Get it in the river. <laughs> Listen, that man saved so many lives today. 
Well, He's it, earned this. It, 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 I'm sorry. And no, it's like. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's actually true. It echoes through the city. Is there a just, logging company in here? <laughs> no, it's a giant ape jerking off. They've, they, <laughs> they've started reconstruction already? <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, so the movie really, really just ends with the old finger in the hole There's gag. a bunch of marshmallow on this street. <laughs> oh, my God, it's the same. You just insert the same William Atherton shot in Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That's what should happen to uh, fucking Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Yep. yes. Oh, shuck a tash. Oh, <laughs> splash. My, my eyes, the goggles do nothing. He hot. Can't believe I'm gonna drown in monkey cum. Uh, I just took nature's gumbo to the face, <laughs> just like my grandpappy dying in monkey cum. And my grandpappy, you know what he used to say? You don't need no concrete if you got monkey cum. <laughs> You can put up a house and monkey come. Oh, that's true. That's oh. actually true. Uh, stunningly, this movie, no fucking stingers or nothing. Shocked by Thank it. Thank goodness. I was, yeah. Very shocking. And that's another reason why we must support Rampage. <laughs> well, honestly, sure. like, dude, you're watching a movie that is concerned with just Rampage 1. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You, we, we don't, do it, worse. It, 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 you know what? If, there, if Rampage 2 happened, which it won't. <laughs> they could just pick up the ball. Oh no, another canister that nobody ever saw it was there. Yep, okay, exactly. Whatever. That's it. Other we thought reason. Marley Shelton brought back three. She actually brought back four. Mm-hmm. Now there's a big fucking poodle walking. Down or the George street. bites another gorilla and he turns into a rampage. Oh okay. sure. Now no, no, it's coming through the saliva. You yes, see exactly. Uh, no, but that uh, that's Rampage, the one and only so mm-hmm. far. I don't know. I didn't look. Bo- Hour forty seven, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Not too Not shabby. Too, on that yeah, either. exactly. Yeah, uh, I, I'll, I'll start us off here. I would recommend this movie. I stunningly had a lot of fun with it. It's stupid and it's violent. Mm. Combine those things, it's easier for me than most to have a good time. Uh, that's just me, Chris Cabin. I, I, it's a light not recommend. I do appreciate the uh, uh, stupid and violent. If it's going to be this stupid, I need it a lot more violent. Is <laughs> okay. my, how my equation goes. I, I do think this is a little bit more digestible than most of Johnson's like extra stuff. Although like San Andreas, you got Paul Giamatti. He's there. Yeah. Sure. Like there, there's little treats and Nev Campbell is in skyscraper. Yes. Yeah. I have people are like this. I got track of And I'm like, <laughs> ah, you know, Naomi Harris is doing nothing. Mm-hmm. So it's fine. But like, yeah, I, I wasn't crazy about this, but it certainly did not put me off. Yeah. Eric Siska. Yeah. It's say light recommend for me. I think you're right about the violence. I, I, I mean, yes, Chris, I always want more violence. I don't think you're going to get more violence in an American movie necessarily, but or at least a big fucking CGI rock movie. A man yeah. can dream. Yes. Eric. I mean, yes. Yes, you have a dream. Wait, so an action <laughs> scope such as this yes. mixed with the violence and viscera of, say, like an Art the Clown motion picture? That's what you're going for? <laughs> a terrifier level of gore? Mm, it looked like uh, we're all Shaw Brothers people here. The Boxer's <laughs> yeah. Omen is what I'm really looking okay. for. Or how about like, um, you know, like a kaiju movie directed by S. Craig Zola? <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, don't. Oh, Oh, oh. That monster's got some Ooh, iffy yeah. politics. Godzilla dragged across concrete. <laughs> Give me that um, tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. So, you yeah, know, it's a light recommend uh, for me. I thought it was a fun enough time, and the violence satiated my bloodlust, at least. There you go. Steve Sadak. Yeah, it's a rampage movie. It's actually pretty okay uh, for being a rampage movie. <laughs> it's also now, like, I don't even know. I'd have to really do the math. Top five video game adaptation, maybe top two. I mean, like, it does all I want it to do, not much less. I do think uh, The Rock is the problem. I think anyone. And he, and he, he is charismatic, et cetera, et cetera. But like I said, like at the end of the movie, it has to tur- it has to satisfy the requirements of being a rock movie, yes. which it shouldn't have to do. Yep. It should just satisfy being a rampage movie, which it almost does pretty well. Oh, like it, yep. well, you know who he- you got to bring in the old master. <laughs> Hello, I'm Matthew Broderick here for Rampage Two: Ralph's Revenge. Oh, you yeah, missed dude. me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is going to do it for this episode on Rampage, directed by. Brad. Brad Payton, if you want more We Ate Movies, check out patreon.com slash We Ate Movies, where, yes, we are coming to the end of April, but on mm. that feed, uh, we had a We Love Movies episode all about the 1968 
Planet of the Apes. Mm. Excellent movie, excellent convo yes. on an excellent episode. Uh, also, by the way, for the next couple of days, mm. uh, you can still get our Moment House conversation on Peter Jackson's King Kong. Go to whmpodcast.com slash tour for that info. Mm -hmm. That's right, yes. And uh, the fun continues on Patreon as well in many regards. You know, the Animation Damnation, we did Donkey Kong Country, mm -hmm. Leap Glossary, we did Wicked the Ewok, um, the Nexus, which is our Star Trek show, the Mel which is normal programming, Melro 2.0, normal programming if you want a, a, a reprieve from apeness. Well, <laughs> but there is a, a, a one last morsel of apeness. Of once in a lifetime, we did Spy Mate. That's, that's right. right. Starring an ape and, and Emma Roberts. And yes. Richard Kind. And, and Richard, Richard Kind, of course. Yes, two apes and Emma Roberts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I love the man. Um, but also, you know, if you're you're aped out, the, on on that Patreon, you have access to so much. It's not just this month's offering. You pledge, you get everything. Months and months of content. I think like thousands of hours. We have yeah. the archive of the first 100 or so episodes on there. It's an embarrassment of riches. And this week uh, on that feed, on the Patreon feed, is the final uh, season three episode of the Mandalorian half yes. hour. Uh, so you can go back and catch all that. We recap the entire series there season. Well, technically the whole series, but yeah, this series, most recent season, whole season of Obi-Wan Kenobi. We, we recapped and oh, also yeah. book of Boba Fett. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. All, all them there. Star Wars. Ah, but on the main feed, even though April is coming to an end, the show rolls on next week. Steve, what are we talking about? You know, even though April has come to an end, I wish we were leaving the wilderness, but we're actually going further in next uh -oh. week. Uh, uh, join us next week as we travel to The Edge. Oh, Speaking man. of Anthony Hopkins and <laughs> That's right. Alec Baldwin. Yeah. Oh, man. I cannot wait for that. Yeah, speaking of fucking fist-fighting animals. <laughs> <laughs> so until next week when we try to not go over the edge, I've been Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Eric Siska. Chris Gap. Take it easy. That was a HeadGum Podcast.